Hello YouTube and welcome to another general vlog video. As you can expect by, you can see the truck back up on jacks. Put new brake pads on it yesterday, well last night. Uh, made a video of that. And if you watched the video when I was doing the driver's side, which was the last side that I was doing, I noticed that there was a chip in the caliper. Uh, let me get the old one out here real quick, or the new one, and I, I'll show you. I didn't trade the old one in, so. You have this piston right here on the caliper that comes out. And uh, let's get up here where you guys can actually see. Right right in there. And somewhere about back in through here, there, there was a big, back in through there, there was a big chip out. And I thought, you know, I was all worried. Did I cause that? You know, blah, 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 blah. And I may have, but here's the deal. Once I got it all apart and looked at it and everything, I went ahead and I thought, well, I think it was that way before because I, it was a big piece missing and I didn't find it. So upon that inspection and thinking that, I went ahead and put it back together. As soon as I did, uh, on the end of the video, you'll, you'll notice that I, I looked down and said, oh, there's a uh, brake fluid laying there. And of course there was. Uh, the caliper, just the rubber around it or whatever caused it, it started leaking from there really bad. So it was after hours for, boy, I'm getting a lot of text messages. Uh, it was after hours for the auto parts store, so I had to wait until today. So I went in this morning, and I went ahead and went and got lunch and ate lunch and everything. And it's, oh, probably about one or so. It might, might only be noon. I, I don't know. It's actually almost one, quarter till one. Um... Yeah, so 60 bucks later, if I caused the mistake, it's a $60 mistake. I don't think I did because even after sweeping up and everything, the truck was faced that way and I backed it in so we could close this all the way, the garage door. We have a 29 Model A tow truck sitting back there uh, <laughs> with stuff stored on top of it. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, blah, 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 right there. Anyways. I had to redo all of that because uh, in case the storm come last night, we could actually shut the garage door. So I went and got the part. We're getting ready to put the part on. I thought I'd make a short video showing you me putting the part on. So let me get you situated and everything, and we'll kind of dive right into this. Shouldn't take very long. Hopefully I don't have to re-bleed the brakes because I'm here by myself, and I left myself bleeder at the other garage and I don't know we'll figure it out so let's see what can happen and I'm gonna put you on pause for it well no I ain't you guys can handle just being moved around I'll try not to make you too sick let's get right down here on the situation and let's go ahead and put this thing on so here we go um, oh I don't know if that's gonna be the same size as it was before and it is, yes. Go ahead and take these sliders loose. Let's go ahead and put the brake pads in it. Because the, uh, hold on a second. The uh, piston is back in there all the way, so I don't have to compress it. So we'll put this on there and we shall see what happens when we bring it up here. Now I'm no mechanic, I never claimed to be. So if you're looking at this thinking, dude, what the heck are you doing? Then I'm just tapping it right into place. Like we talked about yesterday. You'll notice when your brake tab ears, brake pad ears touch, then you know you're in the right spot. You know, let's see the possibility of getting this to line up. I do also have a jack stand under it because it's set all night. Once again, my jack did not let down. I put a tire under it just to be safe. So I am perfectly safe getting under this now. And I'm going to. It 
it's sometimes hard to get these slider bolts to start because you can't really see exactly what you're doing. I think I did get the bottom one to start. And this thing compact in oil. And of course that oil is slick and all over my hand now. I'm probably right in your way, so you're probably just looking at my back while I'm doing this. But let me get this all tightened up. There we go. Now let me get my little cheater bar out here and we will tighten it up and then I'll try to get out of your way as much as I can. Well, you gotta be smarter than the, the wrench here. There we go. up there and get it tight. There we go. And this all come with a new bolt for the line. Um, and also, let me do this real quick. spring clip. Got to put it on there the right way first. Just kind of tap it right back into place there. There's that. We know that those are tight, but I am going to check them one more time. I'd rather be safe than sorry. That one's tight. That one's tight. Put the old spring clip and one slide. And the other slide's in here, which I don't need it. There's those. Uh, kind of lay the tools over here. Um, for the most part, I'm done with those. So now, <coughs> one second, please. Let you guys look that pretty work. So now, move these. I want to open up the hood so I can check my fluid level. And I would imagine it all drained out, but I wouldn't swear to it. So what I'm kind of hoping. that if it did all drain out, which it is low, but I still see fluid. So, that right there tells me that hopefully I don't have to bleed all the brakes. I hope. So, let's get it all filled back up. Oh, well, it helps when you can. Now, where did that put me? Oh, man. We might have lost all the fluid. I, I did see fluid in it. I'm just getting more fluid. In case everybody's wondering, where does he keep going? Had to open up a new thing of fluid. Get it in there. I'm gonna bring that right up to the full mark. Just like that. Now, before I put the lid back on, what I'm gonna try to do is come back down here and we have, oh, and I already see it dripping out. So I'm going to take this. Because there's been no air introduced into the line by pumping the brakes or anything. So if I take this 
and I start letting some fluid run through it. Uh, it is very important that I can get this off, this little extra, there it goes, that little O-ring, that little copper ring, I guess I should call it. And then we can take this one off. And you get one on top. And make sure that there's not one on the bottom. And one on the bottom. And see where it fits down in there comfortably. Um, oh. Jeez, I'm not really sure how this line here goes on. That right there feels right. Okay, so we'll, once again, we'll put this on. We'll put the bolt back through it. We'll make sure there ain't no junk on the bolt. And we're letting it drip still. So, Our wrench. Everything is still the same size as the original one was. Hold it out there just a little bit. And you want to make sure that you compress those nice and get the rest of the rust off of it. It's not where the seat of the washer goes, so I'm not extremely worried about it. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on this, but I want to put enough that. I know that it's not going to leak, and I'm comfortable right there. So now I want to clean up all the extra, even off the frame, and it's not because I'm worried about it, because that's a great rust preventative. It's just, if there's a drip, I want to be able to see it quickly, you know. And I do believe that is it. We will, uh... Make sure that this bleeder is tight because as of right now, I don't have, I think there, well, I know that there's air in the cylinder itself. So let me get a wrench here. Not in here now? Okay, Ricky is gone. My son just stopped in. Alright, so I'm going to take that out. Uh, I wish I would have grabbed my, and I, I'm still seeing drips. Or I just seen a drip. So, let me, uh, I'm going to tighten this back up. And then we'll go in here and pump on the brakes for a minute. And let's put our master cylinder lid back on. There we go. Now, ooh, I feel like I got decent brakes. Oh no. Yeah. I think I've got good brakes. Hey, Ricky. Yep. Come here, I want to teach you how to do something. I want you to get in the truck. Yep. And you know what a brake pedal is? I want you to push that brake pedal about five times yep. and then hold it all the way down. 
Uh, it's going to end up going to the floor. Don't let off of it, okay? That's very important that you don't let off of it. All right. All right, so pump it up about five, six, seven, eight times, and then hold it to the floor. Got it? Yep. Hold it to the floor. Don't let off. Did it go down some? Yeah, a lot. Okay. All right, now you can let off of it. Pump five or six more times. All right, now hold it to the floor. Yep. Okay, hold on, let off. Yeah, we definitely have a leak here. And I don't know where that's coming from. Hold on just one second. So what are you up to today, Bob? I got... Oh. Make sure you don't touch the brake pedal. Yeah, hold on. I got this. You got a new phone? Oh, you got a bicycle? Is it already here? No. I, I ordered it last night because uh, they were going out of stock. So yeah. one went out of stock, the other went out of stock. I was going to get a, a camo orange one, right. then, but the other one went out of stock. So I, and they were only seven dollars apparently. So hurry up and bought it. Yeah. Before they went out of stock last night. Well, that's good. Uh huh. I gotta try to find a wire brush here real quick. We're recording, by the way, Ricky. Oh yeah, I know. We're making a YouTube video. But I had great breaks, but I still had a leak that I'm not really sure where it was coming from. Hey, let's see if any of your uh, subscribers from the, wait, oh wait, never mind. You didn't post that video, did you? Huh? You didn't post any videos yet, have you? No. Okay, I was about to say. All right, so now let's see what happens when I put this on there. I knew this thing was going to fight me. I just, I, I knew it was. Went to put brakes on it last night and the wheel cylinder popped. I don't know if it was my fault or not, but. All right, that's pretty tight. All right, now we'll get all the fluid off of it. All right, now get in there and pump in brakes for me, Bob. Same thing? Yep, well, no, you can just pump them. I'll let you know when to hold it. All right. Okay, now hold it. Are you holding? Yep. Don't let off. I won't. All right, do it again. All right, hold it. All right, I think that's... All right, uh, hold on just a second. Just, you can let off. All right, go ahead and pump them up. And then hold it pretty tight. I don't see any leaks. So I'm going to just, because I can, just tighten that just a little bit more. Do you want me to hold it? Nope, you can be done. The bike's coming from London. London, Ohio or London, England? London. Like, not Ohio. Oh, okay. Hold on just a second. 
Uh, we'll be right back. We're going to put everything back together. All right, and with that, I think we're going to end the video. It's all back together. I have great breaks, better than I had before. My son, my 12-year-old, just happened to, uh, 11, he's getting ready to turn 12, just happened to pop over about right at the right time. I think I'd have been fine without bleeding them. Uh, I could have went and got one of my self-bleeders and done this side. But he was here. It really helped a whole lot. And then my other son come over to hang out for a while. My boy, my boy's old, my oldest boy, getting ready to turn 12, and his, his mom just bought him a bike or ordered him a bike for his birthday. He's all excited about that. So I'm not going to try to outdo her or anything, right? Maybe a little. Anyways, um, we're going to end this video and. Because of changing the brakes yesterday, I don't know if I caused that problem or if it was already there. And just by compressing the cylinder back in, it may have snagged the rubber or something. Or there was a reason that, that the, the pads were still good. They were half pads, if not better, except for that back one. And that was riding right up against that uh, cylinder. So maybe, so I don't know. Anyways. $80 later, however much it cost me, 60 yeah, I think it was 60 $59. Plus, you know, I had to get brake fluid. Well, I had it already, but I had to pay for that at one time or another. Got it all back on. Uh, Got to pull it out, sweep the floor and stuff, get that all cleaned up. But we're good to go and got new brakes all the way around. Just did new brakes on the back and new lines. Oh, probably, well, this past winter sometime. And new brakes on the front, new caliper over here. Normally I don't like to put just one new caliper because then you have one strong caliper and one weaker caliper and sometimes it'll make it pull. We'll see what happens. If it doesn't, I'm not going to worry about it. If it does, if it's pretty severe, then I'll have to go ahead and get another caliper for the other side, which I don't mind. I mean, it's been a good truck. Uh, no major issues. So anyways, once again, it's general vlog videos, and your YouTube, in case you didn't know that, your, all the YouTube viewers, like and subscribe, comment down below, hit that bell notification so you'll know when we post other videos. Uh, we are general, we do kind of every kind of videos, so you never know what's going to happen. So we'll see you on the next video, and here comes my 11 year old getting ready to turn 12. And we'll see him in future videos, and he's got his own channel. Richard Bird in the Capitals of Spaces. Right. Mr. Crab's logo. And it's got Mr. Crab's logo. And it's mostly got games on it, but it's got some other stuff on there. Anyways, give us a thumbs up and subscribe, please. And we'll see you on the next video. I hope you have a great today. It is hot and muggy out, and I hope you have an even better tomorrow. And an awesome night, and your whole life is perfect. And we will see you on the next video. You have a great day. And yes, I'm my own cameraman. Bye.